located in Belgium here at uh, QB1 Racing. Gonna help the guys load up and then we're gonna hit the road to Poland. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be going through quite a few countries on the way there. Uh, should be a fun trip. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be sick. So uh, follow along and uh, yeah, see what we get up to. Definitely gonna be a little bit of trouble along the way. So uh, yeah, gonna keep this thing interesting. Let's go. Poland, World Series. What do you think of Europe? It's cold. It's cold. Okay. okay. Are you ready? You ready to race? I'm ready. You're gonna kick Pastorello's ass? <laughs> I'm gonna, I need to steal your GP1. I'll, I'll beat Devin. Oh shit. Show, Devin. show, show Pastorello your naked ass. Your no. that's, that's, that's for mods to do. Okay. Mods. Okay. Mods only. Woo! That's <laughs> Yeah? Rolling out, QB Racing Headquarters, Quinton, Cedric, the boys are back in business. It's gonna be a fun trip. Got Tori, Snyder, Troy Snyder. You have to pull? Perfect. Just arrived at the race site in, in Poland, freaking cold. And then uh, just trying to get this uh, rig situated. QB is doing a good job, it's pretty tight. So, uh, yeah, the pits are definitely tight. So, uh, yeah, we'll get it in there and then gotta get some stuff set up tomorrow. But at least we're here. So our first morning we'll heading to the racetrack in Poland. This guy, Cedric, Angelo, two Belgians, an African American, and an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back with the Travel Channel, touring. What? What is it? What's the name of the place? Michelinki. Michelinki. Perfect. We got Michael Schumacher of Wish. Hard <laughs> right three.
Nice and cold out there, Phil. Got a pretty good suit, so the cold is quite okay. <laughs> Summer wet suits are gonna be pretty cold. So the guy's starting to do some testing, got Jeremy Perret down there, he's going to go out there, give the ski a run, and uh, yeah, all the boys should be coming down here in the, over the next few minutes, so we'll try and get some footage, and uh, show you them uh, setting up their skis, getting ready for the World Series. How are you? Good. Hey, good, good. Everything good? What do you say, Johnny? John, I think this guy is very stupid. <laughs> I need to ask him whether he can help you or not. <laughs> <laughs> Tech now. Uh, I hope everything is all right and uh, that we can have a nice race this weekend. That's what we're hoping for. Troublemakers here. <laughs> These guys. It's like a traffic show. Yeah. Why no trouble? So here we go. Practice is about to go out. All the boys are starting to line up.
that's pro practice done. Uh, the guys were going pretty hard. Honestly, it's rough out there. I think it's a lot rougher than what it looks. And uh, I think coming a lot of this track is, uh, especially with the way the wind is blowing today, a lot of the chop is coming like inwards. So when they are doing these switchback turns, through the splits, they are uh, having to turn back on themselves into like a following wave. So I think it's pretty tough section, which a lot of the track is obviously in this direction. So uh, yeah, the guys were definitely uh, were having to watch the front ends. Um, but yeah, besides that, you know, it's just rough, rough and tough and cold. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a man's race out there for sure. So these guys are gonna have to uh, dig deep and uh, go fast. So yeah, it's gonna be good. But uh, yeah, I think the guys got a bit of a wake-up call here in practice to seeing actually how rough it was. So obviously each day is going to be different depending on what the wind does. This place is going to be really, uh, uh, a lot's going to change with the wind. So if it's windy and it's onshore, it's going to be rough. If it's uh, offshore winds, it's going to be pretty smooth and it'll be a completely different racetrack. So uh, today, onshore, it's rough out there. Here you go. Yep. Guys, ready for action? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up the track will be good. But uh... site so like all the main paddocks are further down there is another set of paddocks up around the corner over here and then uh, the racetrack and everything and the beach kind of all on this side blue orange here yeah okay so rough got the burgers hey yeah. there. I need me to do whatever so so that's why there So we're here underneath the Pastorello tent. So uh, these are the guys that have been taking care of uh, the Go Fast race team for uh, Christoph. So that's uh, River Varna and uh, Sebastian. So they're all ready to go. Boats are looking good. They did uh, practice yesterday. And then, um, yeah, Christoph's just going over them, making sure they're all ready to roll, which they are. And uh, it's gonna be a good day for these two. So uh, excited to see them race. Excited to see uh, Sebastian in his first pro, like actually international pro race. And uh, yeah, he, I think he's gonna do really, really well. So he's gonna get a lot of experience at this event and then uh, kind of put him in a good position for the next round that's gonna be in Vichy in France and then uh, to the US uh, for the World Finals and then uh, King's Cup end of the year. So uh, this is the first step for him. And uh, yeah, he's got a lot to figure out, but that's why he's here. So uh, yeah, excited to watch him race, it's gonna be good. Euro style way of drying your gear. You don't have that problem in Havasu. Everybody's 
This is your kind of condition. It's rough. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be good. Ready to roll. Yeah. You put your hands up. You put your hands up. You put your hands up. Unfortunately, broke a hood latch. Uh, he actually said on the second lap already, uh, but kind of pulled away and then uh, started getting water in the boat because of the hood coming loose. So I've never even seen one of those hood latches break like that. So yeah, the actual latch on the back of the hood, uh, yeah, completely actually broke the middle. Pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, it was a good race behind him. Um, 
Jeremy, uh, uh, Nacho, Erlandy, um, Dardalat was in there for a while. I think something might have happened to him. A lot of DNFs in that moto. I think the salt water is getting to these guys and it's super rough. But uh, yeah, it was a good race. Um, Jeremy actually got into the lead, uh, worked his way into the lead, was looking really solid. But then uh, last split, um, Nacho made a charge on him and got him. And just speaking to Jeremy after the moto, he just said he had really bad arm pump. So uh, I think the arm pump with the cold weather, um, just struggling to uh, hold the bars. So yeah, good job for Nacho. And we'll see uh, what Moto2 brings. Dev prediction for this motor. Whole shot in first place. <laughs> Let's hope. These boys got nothing but Dev for this one. Oh my. We're moving up in the world. We finished the last one. <laughs> okay. Maybe steps. Now we're actually gonna do decent. Let's hope. He doesn't care. No. People fucking wanna say that you don't know me Treat me like a love sick alien Paint me paranoid Say that I'm a lawyer Just leave me with the space down Ready Danny? I'm ready, yes Ready Angelo? Yes Go fast, eat faster finish Raphael in second um, and then uh, Nacho got up into third and then Quinton from a mid-pack start got up to fourth that was a good race top four guys were nice and tight and uh, yeah it was good racing I think uh, Alec Erlandy was right behind them I think in fifth so uh, yeah solid ride by those guys it was a lot smoother so uh, part, you could see passing was was tough out there it was a lot uh, easier for these guys to do stuff when it was rough. I think the guys were making a lot more mistakes when in the rougher water. In the smoother stuff, I think all the boats work pretty good and these guys are good. So, uh, you know, they didn't make uh, many mistakes. So, uh, yeah, good race. It's going to uh, line up good for Moto 3 and 4. I think Jeremy's going to be leading. Um, Nacho should be second. And then uh, maybe Raphael maybe in third. And they're going to be pretty tight in points. So uh, yeah, Moto 3 and 4 tomorrow, it's going to be uh, interesting. Ready Angelo? I hope ready to go. On here? Prediction Dev? Whole no, shot. We're going to win. Here we go. <laughs> Landis, what do you say? Dev dog on the outside for sure. Talon? Devin's winning this. <laughs> Tori? Yeah, Dev, no. Have I not broken my confidence? <laughs> <laughs> What's the confidence? 
Dude. You're making us look bad. You're such a sellout. Sell sell Have I not proven myself this weekend? <laughs> I've done it all. If red flags weren't a thing, I already whole shot it. <laughs> <laughs> So motor three done. It was actually a competitive motor. Quinton was able to get the whole shot. He was able to get away. Got a pretty good lead. It was a really good motor and ch uh, uh, race going on behind him. So uh, Raphael, got, he, he was able to whole shot the inside. Came out second uh, and held second the whole motor. Jeremy uh, was actually riding really good. Was right on him, um, but uh, couldn't really do anything. Just kind of sat there pretty close. I think the track's a little bit difficult to pass on if it's not too windy. These guys are all good. They've all trained. All the boats are good. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to just, you know, smoke past these guys. But, uh, yeah, so uh, end up Raphael, Jeremy right behind him. Then uh, Alec Erlandy, he was actually riding really good again. He's actually probably surprised me a lot just with how good he's been riding. Uh, he was in fourth and then uh, Michael uh, Pere in fifth. So uh, yeah, good moto, all the guys were going fast and uh, sets it up for a good moto four. So the weight goes into the last moto, I think Jeremy leading uh, with um, probably Raphael in second and then probably Nacho in third. So it's going to be a good last moto, it's going to be interesting. Anthony Torelli from France. That ended up being the wrap for Poland, the first round of the Jetski World Series. Uh, yeah, it ended up being awesome. Uh, unfortunately, camera went flat in that last moto. But uh, the short story was, Quinton won the moto, Jeremy came in second. Uh, that gave him the overall win, which was awesome for us. Uh, Jeremy, uh, obviously his first time riding and racing his uh, GP1R in a World Championship event. He was able to get the win. Uh, Quinton rode really strong, won Moto 3 and 4. He was out front Moto 1 until he broke a hood latch. Uh, but yeah, all our guys did amazing. The boats worked awesome and it was a great event. So uh, yeah, we'll keep this going and uh, we'll keep uh, taking you guys along to, you know, behind the scenes and to see what really goes into this racing, the good, the bad, the ugly, and uh, everything else in between. So uh, thanks a lot for uh, following along, and uh, we'll try and make the next video better than this, and we'll keep them going. Cheers, guys. See you guys at the next race.